Hello, hello, Scorpio. Welcome to the Manjula Awakening. My name is Kiana. Welcome back if you are an existing subscriber. So today we're going to take a look at your energetic space as it pertains to love. This is for uh, Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, Venus, as well as any Scorpio ninth house placements as well, guys. Here on the Manjula Awakening, we are currently doing a giveaway. Once we reach a thousand subscribers, we are going to go live and give these three very beautiful decks away, as well as answer some free personal questions. We do hope to see you there, Scorpio. So the oracle that came out for you is healing family issues in the reverse. This reads, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So Scorpio, I do feel like that right now, whatever the connection is that we're going to be discussing, I feel like that, um, that uh, there's this energy of not truly being open to love the way that you need to be because there are some unhealed issues with your um that I, I really do just feel like that there is i don't know maybe uh, your parents are their input affect your relationships too much or um or maybe the ideal of what relationships can um of what relationships are supposed to look for the image you receive from your parents is false and it's not holding up in the three like it's not actually holding up in your life because it's built on falsities whatever the case may be let's see but i do see that you're trying to call in your soulmate but i just don't i feel like that what you're calling in are false expectations like it's because of false expectations but let's see what is what's going on for scorpio spirit how is scorpio currently showing up under this energetic space of love Spirit, can you please show me clearly and accurately how is scorpio showing up thank you so we have the page of pentacles and the lovers i do um so let's just we got the the seven of cups here honestly scorpio I know this, I'm probably going to lose a lot of you all right here, but this, what, what I'm getting with the Page of Pentacles, the Lover's Card, and the Seven of Cups being here, I just feel like there's a, there is, you know, the, the Page of Pentacles is the, the scholar of the deck. There's still a lot that this person needs to learn, right? This is the child, this is a child. Pages are children. So it's as if the choices that you're making when it comes to love really are ba built in the, like there's this fantasy, this illusion that you're choosing when it comes to love. When we think about the seven of cups, it is all about that wishful thinking, that daydreaming, that fantasy. And I feel like that this is how you're choosing your I feel like that that's the energy of how lovers are being picked around you right now. And it's kind of like, I feel like that it keeps on getting you in this stuck energy. It's like it just, it's like you're trapped in this same cycle. No matter how many mates or no matter who you go after, it just seems like you're always stuck in the same repeat of a cycle. And, that, and I feel like that that is because this mentality at which we're choosing our lovers has to be elevated but let's see how is the person that scorpio is currently dealing with how is this person currently showing up spirit this is gemini um gemini is getting a love reading so i'm not i haven't done it yet scorpio but it may resonate for you i don't know let's see spirit can you please show me how scorpio's person is currently showing up the three of swords um to the two of swords wow so that's the five of swords so you know i feel like that i don't know i feel like that you know there is some heartbreak here there could be some there is some separation there is a loss here you know with your person scorpio but with the five of swords here honestly i feel like that going into this situation when we think about the five of swords and i'm saying the five of swords because of the three of swords and the two of swords here i feel like that there were some ulterior motives here you know what i'm saying i don't think that everyone was really seeing the truth of the situation you know what i'm saying it was a difficult choice in the first place going into this situation i do feel like um and you know i feel like that there was some truth that just wasn't being accepted and looked at in that moment let's get a little bit more for how your person is showing up
Scorpio, if you're still with me at five minutes in, we would absolutely appreciate a thumbs up down below. It does help get these messages out to other people in need. So we have the Nine of Swords to the King of Wands. Yeah, this person, it's, it's as if like, you know, this person had a certain vision in mind. They did. This person had a... Um, High expectations, very, very high expectations, and I, 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 I feel like that it, it just didn't, you know, it's like this person is, I've, with all the swords here, you know, this is, this is twelve swords that goes back down to the three of swords. I feel like that the intention altogether, the intention of this situation was scared in the get go. And I feel like that, I don't know, maybe you got with this person who was already broken hearted from a previous situation or you were previously broken hearted from another situation. Hell, both of you all could have already been broken hearted from a previous situation. But either way it goes, I do feel like that this is like, I've like whatever the the ulterior motives like there was something done like someone was trying to win something at all costs you know what I'm saying like there was something that um they were just trying to accomplish something I, and I feel like that it is resulted in like a greater loss than what was trying to be accomplished and I feel like that this person is at their breaking point I think this person is coming to the expect I mean coming to the realization that their vision and their expectations are not going to be met so let's look at this situation here what is the situation with Scorpio spirit What is this situation with Scorpio and the person on their mind? Oh. There was the tower that just tried to play, uh, show face. So there was a major tower moment inside of this situation that caused people to face reality or it's coming. What is the situation here at, the, at hand for Scorpio? Thank you. An ending. It is definitely an ending here on the table for Scorpio. And with the judgment card being here at the look that tower look that tower still wanted to show face bam that you know um i feel like that whatever that tower moment was or is to you all it does bring in endings it does cause something to end now when we you know in this world all endings are a promise for a new beginning so there is an opportunity for a new beginning through this ending but it has to like there it has to go through its own tr like it has to go through a transformation it has to go through a transition there is a need once something ends there is a need to do some reflecting do some um self-evaluation there there is a need to reflect on these family issues here and i don't feel like people are willing to do that here spirit can you show us a little bit more on the situation here at hand for scorpio The sun card. There's some. Some things are coming to light here. This ending is going to illuminate a lot of things. Show us more. There's a lot of majors here for you. Scorpio, you're getting one now. Gemini is getting a reading later. Leo did not show up in Sagittarius, so they won't be, but Leo is here on the board for you all. So we have the Six of Wands the uh, page of wands as well as the two of pentacles so i uh, honestly i feel like that what's going on is i feel like that somebody with this six the sun card in the six of wands side by side here i do feel like that someone's ego like somebody's ego got the best of them and caused them to make a reckless decision here someone took a reckless leap of faith someone was very hasty and <clears throat> you know like moving forward and like this fresh idea hit and instead of investigating and looking into it i do feel like that there were some hasty decisions made on this 
and um, it could come in the form of someone, you know, over committing themselves. This could be someone juggling, you know, in a love reading, the two of pentacles can represent juggling. So um, I feel like what I'm getting, though, from this energy, it's like. I can't put all of my eggs in one basket here. I do. I feel like that. And I feel like that someone's other basket is being exposed here. Let's see. What action does Scorpio need to be focused on at this time as it pertains to this connection spirit? What actions does the universe need Scorpio to focus on as it pertains to this connection here? The five of wands, my, my, my. So there, there's an, there's an apology. I'm just going to call it what it is. Scorpio, it does look to, it does look to me that the universe is needing Scorpio to, the action step that, the action steps that the universe is needing Scorpio to focus on at this time is the Five of Wands and the Page of Cups is at the bottom of the deck. The Page of Wands for it advice from the universe it does stand for avoiding conflict tension relief it does work like this is call a truce this is apologize so it does look like Scorpio needs to put in some energy on formulating an apology on how to smooth situations out here because whoever this person is they are um, feeling um, an immense amount of pain this person is at their breaking point Show me more spirit for uh, the advice for Scorpio. All right, spirit. Thank you. So we have the seven of cups. So there is a need to speak some truth and clarity here. There is. There is a need to clear up some things. Offer some clarity offer you know that like i said this is clear up some tension do what you can to diffuse a situation and i feel like that that is bringing clarity to a situation and it could possibly be around a third party i'm getting that very strong here one more thank you the nine of pentacles was there. We um have the high of the um the emperor that wanted to show face. So this is saying that it, Scorpio is going to need to take the leadership role. Scorpio is going to, and at least in this reading, guys, um you know take it as it resonates. But it does look like Scorpio is going to be the one asked to give it an apology here and offer some clarity. What action can Scorpio expect from this other person in the next seven days, spirit? Actions. Okay, so we have the four of wands to the nine of cups to the queen of wands. Oh, let me get one more on this bird. I don't feel I, I like I, I even though these are beautiful cards here, I just feel like that this person is, um, you know, I feel like that this person is going to. I, like, I just feel like this person feels unwelcome. I do feel like that there's still going to be conflict here. I feel like that this person is unfulfilled. This person is disappointed in what they thought that they were going to get from here. Um, there is some type of new opportunity that this person is, you know, like this person. I, I just feel like that this person is calling in a new opportunity elsewhere, especially with the three of pentacles and the justice card. Like I, I, I do. I feel like that this person is at their breaking point. I don't feel like, like I said, even though the four of wands and the nine of cups, it's beautiful energy. And then the pay, the ace of pentacles, beautiful energy. But I feel like that that's this person just being like, I do. I feel like this person is assessing this situation is this worth it like is this still worth it 
I'm not sure that it is, but let me get one card. Let me get one card. Like, I just, like, even worst case scenario, I feel like that there's this get even energy inside of this person with the justice and the three of pentacles here. It's like, what, it's like, there was an injustice, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's a, like, this person is wanting for accountability taken, you know what I'm saying? And at what extent is this person willing to go towards to get accountability? That's, you know, that's never a fun game. Spirit, can you please help under can you please help me understand this for this person's likely actions towards Scorpio in the next seven days? Yeah, yep, I knew it. I knew I didn't feel good about it. Um, this part like at the end of the day, this person is done. Yeah, I do. I feel like this person is done. I feel like that this person right here is really uh going to like I feel like this person is look they're done with this like they like I do feel like that there's some type of contract that you guys are bound to and they are trying to fight tooth and nail to break free from this I do I feel like this person is trying to call in by any means necessary how to break free from this situation you know what I'm saying like this person is gathering evidence this person is doing a lot of digging and and and, and in this in this energy of collecting information it is to break free from this situation it, because they are unfulfilled. I, it's just not worth it to this person anymore. That's what I'm getting. Um, so what are their closing messages? What is the final words here for Scorpio moving forward? Thank you, Spirit. Um, we've got the Four of Swords to the King of Pentacles. So I feel like that this is saying, you know, really reestablish yourself there's a need to be disciplined there is a need to rest recover there is some healing that needs to take place this you know with this um healing family issues the king of pentacles is the father so there could there there could be a need to reflect on you know uh, some father issues you know what I'm saying how is it that you operate based on how your father operated or what like how do you take what your father tells you as it and, and how do you, you know like how do you just equate your life to your father's life and how is that affecting you whatever the case may be but um, there's also this energy of really needing to uh, realize you know I can't, like this is Reevaluate. This is evaluating and rejuvenating and recovering from any instability, like lack of discipline. There is a need for Scorpio to move forward and to be more disciplined in the way that you're showing up. Be more mature in the way that you're showing up, because I feel like that when things kind of go left for Scorpio here, there's this energy of. Oh, you want to do that? I can do it better. Or there's still this energy of ego here. You know what I'm saying? Like I can't. And, and then for the emperor to be here, that's a lot of my way or the highway energy that I'm feeling here. And um, this is this. There is a need to recalibrate the masculine energy for Scorpio here. There he is. Spirit, um, Archangel Michael, can we close this up for Scorpio? Ooh, that hit the floor. Let's see. Yeah, it's almost over. The current challenges, the current challenge will soon be resolved and you will be able to look to the future with a smile. So if you can catch on to this, to this repeated like what is causing this repeated lesson in your life i do feel like that this cycle is trying to close out for you it does have the yeah, cut away things that no longer serve you once you once you identify it and you cut it out things are going to move forward at a quicker rate for you but it is going to require you to um to identify it first it is
Alrighty, Scorpio, I pray that this message provided you with some guidance on your journey. If this message resonated, we would absolutely appreciate a thumbs up down below. And in all that we say and in all that we do moving forward, let's choose peace. Love and light, Scorpio.